everyone, it is Danny and welcome to this update video. I trust and hope that you're doing really fantastic this evening. And we're going to be talking about these two areas which are marked on this graphic here, Tropical Storm Philippe, which is a struggling cyclone, but whatever is left of it could make its way into parts of the Caribbean. We want to take a look at that. And we'll also be talking about 91L that is marked to the southeast of it. So that disturbance has a higher chance to develop during the next two days. But by as soon as tomorrow, we could see this become a tropical depression and eventually tropical storm arena so that is the next name on the list as i've been highlighting for the past couple of days so let's get straight into it starting with that satellite imagery and here we can see our systems now philippe is not looking too good very disheveled very lopsided as the wind shear takes its toll but uh 91l tries to thrive and consolidate out there rushing to claim that status of a tropical cyclone as i said we could see that happening by tomorrow and we'll be looking at these systems in a bit more detail in a moment but we want to talk about what is happening across the caribbean and surrounding areas now looking at parts of the south caribbean and northern south america there are some thunderstorms developing just as expected in this morning's update even in some spots across trinidad as well for most of the country it has been rather hot and dry same story as we head to the abc islands that is something that is pretty much regular there right now the drift further up north and here we can see that across some spots in Central America especially going uh, near the coast of Honduras and Nicaragua we can see some thunderstorm activity those white dots are indicating those lightning strikes a lot of thunderstorms within those areas even in the uh, in sections of the Yucatan and then overall a tropical wave is in the region so that is helping to enhance all of the activity that we have been seeing over the past couple of days and so even in Jamaica this evening there are some thunderstorms and uh, eventually conditions here will continue to improve because as we know uh, there was some heavy rainfall in some spots yesterday for most of the island it was rather gloomy uh, and some areas were experiencing some periods of very heavy rainfall even with flooding so that occurred yesterday fortunately today it's improved so you can let me know what's happening for you all the way up to Florida and in parts of the northwestern Bahamas there is some activity taking place and then even in Hispaniola as well not as much as we head into Puerto Rico and the Virgin Islands let's now now move on to our active systems out there kickstarting things with Philippe so we're gonna be switching to the visible satellite imagery I just I want to show you guys how much this storm is struggling here so take a look at this we can see that exposed center of circulation we can clearly see that rotation so not a whole lot of cloud cover here as the upper level winds displace all that activity to the east so it's taken a toll on the system and we're seeing something practically naked uh, out to there so Philippe has been struggling and it is likely not going to be holding on to tropical storm status for a very long time so eventually it will weaken and dissipate out there and then there we see all of that activity that cluster down there in association with 91L but uh, let's first go on to the cone forecast for Philippe because as I said the remnants might move into parts of the Caribbean so here we are taking a look at it by the way this is as of the 11 a.m update so uh, the latest update should be in by the time this video is out and I'm thinking that the system would have weakened a bit more with winds maybe uh, peaking at around 40 miles per hour so uh, I'll leave a comment with that update so here we can see this cone forecast it is expected to remain a tropical storm through to Thursday as being shown here by the National Hurricane Center and then eventually be downgraded to a depression by Friday and then a post tropical cyclone by this weekend losing uh, meaning that it will be losing its tropical characteristics and be uh, dissipating out there now, whatever is left of it, if there's even anything substantial, could make its way into parts of the Caribbean. And models have been showing something very interesting that I want to show you guys later in the update. So firstly, we're going to be talking about 91L. Here we have it, that high 90% chance of development through the next seven days. And as I said, by tomorrow, we could see it become a tropical depression. So we'll see what happens as it relates to that. But it has that high chance likely to be arena, but, uh, but not going to be an imminent problem for anyone. However, if it moves to the Caribbean close enough, it could uh, bring some impacts, maybe not any significant impacts, but some increase in rainfall activity, maybe even those rough seas and uh, those gusty winds as well. That would be very much appreciated. It has been very hot and dry for some of the eastern islands. Now, let's go ahead and talk about those models and we're kickstarting with the GFS. So this is as we head to Sunday of the coming week, the 1st of October, brand new month. 
And there you can see it showing that we could have some development off the east coast of the US, but that right there is whatever is left of Philippe at the time. And then there is what will become Arena behind it. So we're seeing that uh, GFS has it that uh, these remnants will be loitering just to the north of Puerto Rico and the Virgin Islands. But then uh, as we head to Tuesday, the third of the month, there we see those remnants really lingering in the vicinity just offshore of uh, the Turks and Caicos Islands, Hispaniola, and well to the north, northwest of Puerto Rico. So very interesting here, and the model is expecting some significant intensification of what will become Arena. Now let's go on to Euro, and this is as we head to Friday of this week. There we have whatever is left of Philippe making its way uh, out and then eventually just continuing to degrade out there not becoming anything significant but eventually there we have what will become arena intensifying uh, Euro expecting that this will uh, this will become a hurricane and could make uh, a close approach to the Caribbean might not be very very close but again it could be close enough to induce some impacts maybe nothing too major but it, it should still be watched for any changes now going on to the Canadian model Canadian is showing something pretty interesting with uh, the run of Philippe. So this is as we head to this weekend, Saturday the 30th. There we have the remnants and what will become Marina behind it. As we head to Sunday, the start of a brand new week, the remnants make their way into the Caribbean in the vicinity of Puerto Rico, the Virgin Islands. And though this might offset the heat and the drought conditions that have been experienced, a lot of heavy rainfall is likely to trigger flooding. So in that case, if it should manage to sustain itself to some degree, there could be some effects. So that is a concern. But there we have what will become Rena out there. So all models so far very consistent about 91L becoming Rena and intensifying eventually into a hurricane. Now what we see happen here is as we head to Tuesday, uh, there we're seeing more of those colors, those shades of yellows and even those oranges or reds indicating some sort of intensification before the system eventually makes its way back out uh, seemingly to the northeast. So this is an interesting scenario. The Canadian is also showing that we could see something try to develop in the Western Caribbean. Now, now that would not be something uncommon for the month of October because that is where we actually want to watch for our future systems because uh, with all the increase in moisture, not a whole lot of dry air out there and once that shear or the upper level uh, winds are conducive, then what we will see happening is that a more conducive environment is in place for us to actually have development. So this is going to be an area to watch. The icon model, the final model we're taking a look at for this update, we can see here that as we head to Saturday, uh, potential system off the east coast of the U.S. And there we have whatever is left of the leap, what will become Rena following behind, and uh, icon showing all that moisture, all that activity in association with the remnants of the system or whatever is left of it making its way into the vicinity of the northeastern islands. Eventually, crossing into uh, Hispaniola thereabouts. So that is pretty interesting uh, here. And then what will become Rena again, we're seeing some intensification. So it's highly likely that we will see uh, 91L become Rena, potentially a hurricane. And if it is close enough to the Caribbean, then impacts could be induced. But that is an if scenario there. So we should definitely be keeping our eyes on these systems. And that is why I'm here to keep you guys posted with these dual updates every single day. And so that is pretty much what I wanted to share with you in this update. Again, there's all that activity across portions of the Western Caribbean extended into sections of Florida, the Bahamas, bringing some periods of heavy rain. And we know that heavy rain can trigger flooding as we've seen in Jamaica. So in such events, guys, please stay safe. Do not take any unnecessary risks. And we've also got our active systems out there. We We've got well, only one active tropical cyclone, which is Philippe, but then we will have Arena in a matter of maybe a couple of days before this weekend. We should have a new tropical storm out there. And then we also want to watch for future developments coming from the Caribbean uh, with conditions becoming a bit more conducive to allow for that to happen. And so that is pretty much it for now. I hope you found this video to be quite informative, but if you have any questions, please do leave them in the comments. I'll respond to you once I get the chance to do so. And as always, remember to be otherwise.